Alright, so once you acquired your warthog tusk and you washed your farm fresh local organic egg, what you're going to do is you're just going to slightly tap on the bottom of it until you get a nice little hole. You know, just keep tapping, keep tapping, you know, you get a nice hole. And then you just keep tapping until you break through that hole and you start getting some liquid on the tusk. Now, what's really fun to do is take this egg and then put it in a snifter because we're classy gentlemen. And then you just dump the egg into the container like so. Just like that. Beautiful. And you, and you got your raw egg in your snifter, you know, because you're a classy fellow. And don't forget to clean off your warthog tusk. And all you do is just bottoms up. Uh, I like to break the yolk in my mouth to really get the flavor of the egg. Man, I just love science because now we have reproducible evidence that eating eggs will not increase your risk of heart disease. And this has to do with the type of fat that's in an egg. Within an egg yolk, because the white part is primarily protein, within an egg yolk there is unsaturated lipoprotein. And contrary to past logic, unsaturated lipoprotein actually helps remove plaque from arteries and veins. That's right, removes plaque. Now that's extremely interesting and a bold statement. So if you don't believe me, you can see the citations in the description below. Now in the past, I've experimented eating, with eating two to three dozen eggs per week in a variety of different ways from raw to scrambled. And I got my blood levels checked before and afterwards because I was trying to increase my intracellular cholesterol levels to boost testosterone. Because as you may know, cholesterol is a precursor to testosterone production. But unfortunately, I couldn't do it. I was eating so many raw eggs and I still couldn't increase my intracellular cholesterol levels. And I had no idea why at the time, I just thought maybe I was doing some type of methodology wrong or wasn't eating them at the right time. But it turns out that that unsaturated lipoprotein in the egg participates in a removal of the plaque in a different pathway of cholesterol digestion. Now that's great news and you should eat your whole eggs because not only are you getting anywhere from five to seven grams of protein from an egg, and not only are you getting an essential protein, meaning it contains all of the essential amino acids that aren't made in your body naturally. You get amino acids such as isoleucine, leucine, and lysine, which are all very important to muscle building. But in that yolk, you get a cacophony of vitamins and minerals, including choline, which is good for heavy mineral and heavy metal removal from the body. You get vitamin B12, which is good for energy and fat metabolism. And you get this other chemical that I've just recently learned about called cytastin. Cytastin participates in two very important biochemical pathways, which if you think about an egg in general, they sh this should have been just common sense, quite intuitive, because they participate in cell proliferation and an anti-inflammatory process. Two key things that are necessary to grow a chick from an egg. You get more cell metabolization, excuse me, more cell proliferation, and you get anti-inflammation because as you know, lifting is an inflammatory process. So you eat these eggs after you train and you're getting this anti-inflammatory response. So now it's very important to eat your whole eggs, but it's also very important to watch where you're getting those eggs from. Because many eggs from, let's say, a Wegmans or a Walmart go through the USDA cleansing process where they actually heat the egg up, they cool it down, and then they put a wash over it to wipe off all the bacteria and you know, you know where a chicken comes from, so they're worried about that bird shit on it. But in all honesty, when they heat that egg up, they open all the pores on the egg. So when they do that chemical wash, some of those chemicals can be leached inside that egg, which you don't want to put into your body. Now you can always tell a good quality egg by looking at the yolk. The more orange or the darker yellow that yolk is, the happier that chicken was when it had that egg. So now that there's new science out there, you don't have to worry about eating large amounts of eggs. You're not going to get heart disease and you're going to get bigger. Thank you for watching. So eggs have to be probably one of the best things to eat in general and after you train. And the reason to do that is because of their amino acid profile. 
Now, the literature has said anywhere from 35% absorption all the way up to 98% absorption, and it depends on how the study is done. So I've seen iliac tract absorptivity done on eggs, and they've said 98% absorption. And I've seen digestive tract excretion, so they're measuring the nitrogen excretion after people have eaten eggs, and that's where it gets about 40 to 60% depending on the subject. Now, that being said, I would still totally recommend eggs. And I used to eat tons of raw eggs, actually. So after I would train, I would come home, I would eat about eight to 10 raw eggs, and I would do that with butter. And that was before I ate my meal, because if you eat, drink a whole bunch of raw eggs, your stomach doesn't get that filled up, and you could still have time to eat some more protein and some vegetables afterwards. But I get that quick fat, and I get that quick protein right in my body. Now the real question is, do you have to eat raw eggs? And the answer is no. If you look up the protein quality score and the protein digestibility scores, the best way to eat an egg is actually poached. And I'll put the links below so that you can find this data for yourself, but a poached egg retains the best amino acid profile for absorptivity. Then I think it goes a fried egg, so just crack it in a pan and eat it, tied with eating them raw. Now these points are one or two, so I think it's like 136, 137.